to have more clarity as to where this uh, vaccine is standing in terms of market authorization, please contact the colleagues from the European Medicines Agency. To my knowledge, um, there has been a request for scientific advice, as it's called. Um, but if you want to have more information on the latest state of play of a market authorization request, indeed better to check with EMA. With regard to our European vaccine strategy, I think this topic has been also discussed uh, last week, last week where we said that um, the, 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 Sputnik, the Sputnik vaccine is not part of the vaccine strategy, so member states have the possibility to take arrangements with the vaccine developers of such vaccines which are not covered by the vaccine strategy. That's one thing. As to whether or not it should be part of the vaccine strategy, this is something to, that, that uh, can always be discussed with member states and commission, for instance, in the context of the steering board. I would, however, like to draw your attention to the fact that one of the selection criteria to be um, selected for negotiations and a contract with a vaccine developer is the fact that the company needs to have a production capacity in the European Union. This is to make it easier to, have, to make sure that the production and the distribution of vaccines to European citizens can take place uh, more easily. Thank you. And on your third question, uh, let me remind you that uh, when the Commission uh, has entered into negotiations um, for the signature of advanced purchasing agreements. It was not at all with government, it was with companies. Are there other questions on health-related issues for us today? 